With so many lives at risk in Afghanistan, the testing of vehicles before they're deployed to theatre has to be a rigorous and thorough process. We decided to send our own petrol head, Kath Brazier, to the Millbrook test track to help out, and we're all going along for the ride. The venue, the Millbrook Proving Ground in the heart of Bedfordshire countryside. The mission, to ensure these vehicles are conflict ready. The contenders, the Mastiff 2, the Husky and the Coyote. All these vehicles and many like them come to Millbrook to go through some vigorous tests to find out if they do what the manufacturers say they can do. And what better way to test them than to experience it myself. First up, the Mastiff 2. This heavily armoured 6x6 wheel drive protected patrol vehicle carries eight people plus two crew. It's the signature vehicle of British troops in Afghanistan and has evolved considerably since the first of its kind was introduced in 2006. To date, no one's been killed or seriously injured whilst travelling in a Mastiff. As military vehicles go, this is a masterpiece and feedback from theatre is extremely positive. Here we are inside the Mastiff with Dave, my driver, and we're going to take it for a little bit of a spin. Considering both its size and weight, the Mastiff handles amazingly well over varying terrain and can reach speeds of over 50 miles per hour. But be prepared for a bumpy ride. The rock run. Where the Mastiff impresses in bulk, the Husky provides commanders with a highly mobile and flexible load-carrying vehicle. Designed to transport food, water and ammunition, it also acts as a command vehicle at headquarters and some are fitted out as protected ambulances. Now it may not be an exact replication of theatre, but Millbrook makes sure they get conditions as representative as possible. And the testing process isn't just a question of driving the vehicles over rough road, along mud banks and through puddles. A lot of tests, like the tilt table shown here, are a lot more specific. We're checking on the vehicle stability, the performance, uh, how they get up all the inclines and general safe things like tilt tests and all the stuff which you've seen earlier. Finally, the Coyote. Based on a 6x6 derivative of the Jackal, it will support the go-anywhere high-mobility Jackals across harsh terrain. Well, the basic things we've got is, obviously, we load it as best we can with the jerry cans and everything on the back. The gunner's mount up there, there's normally the gunner stands with it, but we just try and ballast all the weight. And these ballast bags here, and also on the driver's uh, commander seat there, is all ballasted, just to replicate the, the commander in there, and as it would be fully loaded out in theatre. So it is actually trialled and tested up to its maximum limit. It's clear that everything from tyres up to seat belts and steering are checked time and again, all the while mindful of the many lives at stake. So, with Mission Millbrook accomplished, my job here is done. Caffrezia, Forces News, Bedford.